So in this video, we will see what SAP Web ID is and we will just see the features and all the benefits of SAP Web ID. So let's just see the agenda of this particular session. So first we will be covering the overview of SAP Web ID and the architecture and all and then we will just see the features and benefits of SAP Web ID and then through some of the screenshots I will be explaining you what SAP Web ID looks compared to Eclipse and then we will just go through the steps to set up the SAP Web ID. So moving on, so this is a simple architecture here. So what SAP Web ID is? So previously we used to code, we used to develop the SAP UI5 application in Eclipse. So there was this SAP UI5 plugin in Eclipse. So we could generate new code and all in SAP in Eclipse itself. So now what SAP has done? SAP has created its own ID that is SAP Web ID. So SAP Web ID we could create applications, SAP Fiori applications, hybrid application or any HANA applications. So this application can be created using SAP Web ID on some of the platforms like HANA Cloud Platform, SAP Mobile Platform that is SMP and ABAP and SAP HANA. So we could also use some of the data sources through the external services so which could be SAP services or non-SAP services. So here we could see these two are the SAP services and these are the non-SAP services. So SAP Gateway which is the on-premise services and SAP HANA which is on cloud platform service and rest services are the non-SAP services that we could use. And we could also use this plugins and template in SAP Web ID. So there are these plugins and templates available. So if we are using a, if we are making a particular project in SAP UI5, we could always use a predefined template and we could also use the plugins here. So we have the plugin here as HAT which stands for Hybrid App Toolkit. And we also have this template overview page pages and we have the plugin of Internet of Things. So similarly, we have multiple plugins and templates available. So this was a simple architecture or basically the overview of SAP Web ID. Now moving on, let's just cover features of SAP Web ID. So it provides free styling coding, free styling coding. So it has this robust editor and it ha also has this feature of code completion and it has this layout editor tooling which provides this drag and drop functionality in SAP Web ID which enhances the SAP UI5 coding development. Then it also has this wizards, templates and sample applications as I already discussed in the previous slide that SAP, while creating any new project in SAP UI5 it always prompts to create a new project from the template. So it has the template like master detail template simple SAP UI5 application template. Similarly, there are many other templates which we could use. Then it also has the feature of extensibility support. That is any Fury application can be extended and they can be developed using SAP Web ID itself. And it also has this instant preview feature that is we could use SAP Web ID to see the what the preview of a particular code is like and it also allows you to see the code in different resolutions and languages and all. And it also supports the mock data that is it automatically creates or we can manually create the mock data if the front end if the real server is not working so this there is always the support for mock data support. And it also support for several environments so this application developed using SAP Web ID can be run can run on different devices and it is compatible for all the devices. Now moving on, let's just see the benefits, what are the benefits of, of SAP Web ID. So here we could see there is the reduced cost and complexity. Now how we are reducing the cost and complexity? So suppose in Eclipse we used to write bad code so there is no warning or anything but here in SAP Web ID if we are writing bad piece, bad code so it gives a warning here so there thereby complexity is reduced so when complexity is reduced we are increasing the productivity itself and thereby we are empowering the developer business experts and designers and to use sap web id itself now let just let me just show you the screenshots of sap web id so when you just log in to 
your SAP Web ID that is this is the home page that you are getting. So here you are getting all the menu here, menu bar and this is the home tile here that is here and here if we just click on this particular tab here we could go to the code editor and here we are have the settings. So this is the home page of SAP Web ID. Let me just go to the next side. So this is the basic editor here that is present here we could get the API references here and moving on. So as I already told you there are templates provided in SAP Web ID and these are some of the templates that are prompted when you are creating new new UI5 project. So here you are getting SAP simple SAP UI5 application here you are getting empty plugin here you are also getting Fury master detail application. So these are simple templates by which you can build your code from a template itself. Next here we are getting the device configuration basically here what we are getting so when we are setting for hybrid application we have to configure our device configuration. So this is simple example of the um, how to configure for the hybrid application. So here we are providing our application name what would be the application ID version number and all. So this is important. Here we will be setting up SAP web ID and to set up SAP web ID what you need to do register yourself at SAP HANA cloud cockpit. When you are registered with SAP HANA cloud cockpit you will be getting this particular screen. This is the home screen of this particular URL and when you have done with this now you have to open SAP web ID and what you need to do go to services here. Here it is now here I will just mention the steps here there are two steps either you can go to subscription or either you could go to services. Let me just explain you to the services part. Go to services then go to SAP web ID then go to enable and then go to open web ID. When you click on enable you will be prompted with this particular screen here you will get this open SAP web ID I have already mentioned here open web ID. So if you just click on it you will be seeing the home screen of SAP web ID. So in the video I am I have already mentioned all these steps hope you are under you will understand all these steps. So as I have already told you to use SAP web ID for development purposes we have to follow two steps. The number one step would be to register yourself at SAP HANA cloud cockpit and the second step you would have to enable SAP web ID plugin. So let's just start with it. So the first step is to register yourself at SAP HANA cloud cockpit. So I have already opened the URL. So here is, this is the URL https accounts HANA trial on demand.com. So if you are an if you are new to this you have to register yourself so I have already registered myself so I won't be registering again so once you are registered click on register and a username and password would be required and just click on log on here so SAP uses this single logon system so once I have already log on so that's why it's it didn't ask me for username and password. So this is my SAP HANA cloud cockpit here. So this is the overview here. So every new user gets a unique trial code here. So this is mine. So now there the second this was the, this was the first step here and the second step is to access SAP web ID. So what you have to do is click on services here and just wait for it and once it's, it's loaded you have to do is just in the search bar just type in SAP web ID okay so this is the one so I have already enabled it just click on it and now what you have to do is just wait for it and here it is now open SAP web ID just click on it now this is the URL that which would take to you to SAP web ID. I would recommend you to just bookmark this URL. Okay. So this is the first page that opens. Okay. Don't start. Close. So we have already set up SAP web ID. 
so this is the place where we ha we can do the coding part here we could check some settings here so in the git settings we could also give a git addresses so that we could push and pull our projects from git in this SAP web ID so in the development area we will be creating a first application that is hello world in the previous video I have already created the hello world application in the Eclipse so now here I will create and the folder here in the workspace I would name it as hello world so so in in the hello world folder I will be creating another folder which would I would name it as web app so it's the natural convention that comes to mind naming convention web app and inside this web app I will be creating another file naming it as index.html so that's done so we have created this index.html page so whenever we run run our SAP UI5 application the first page that would load up is index.html so now we have to do the coding in index.html page so I have this code snippet with me I will just copy and paste it so here it is so I have already explained you so the new thing here is the SRC in Eclipse we were using this much it only since we were loading the SAP UI5 libraries locally so now this is the second way to load the SAP UI5 uh, libraries to use it from SAP UI5 server SAP UI5 .hana on demand. so this is on cloud so we are getting the resources from the cloud itself so the theme is SAP blue crystal so everything is set so now what we have to do is we have to show a label and in the label we have to show the text here so the text is hello world itself so now this particular line now you have to register to the core attach init event so this is the core attach init, init event which is event handler and inside the UI5 is ready within this function the UI5 is ready once it, once this function is called so this SAP UI dot get core gets access to singleton of UI5 core and then it fires the init event which you attach to this is the init event and we are attaching this portion here so once all the control libraries that has been requested are loaded then we could go further so we are using this label control here and once this has been defined we will just place the label control in the content that we have defined here so that's done I will just save this file and now I will run it now to run, run this just click on index.html and just click on this green circle here so it would take some time to load since this is loading from the cloud platform so that's done UI5 is loaded and the library is also loaded so sap.m.label is working fine and hello world is populated so that's it for this video thanks for watching